712. At the bus this morning at 6:30. Just finished up the show last night. Today we're going to a prison. Um, I'm not sure what town it's in. Rockenburg. <laughs> we're on our way to Rockenburg. Rockenburg. Is that, is that really? I'm so tired. <laughs> um, we're headed now to a prison here in Germany. <laughs> some ideas to see where they are and we, we've got like 10 ideas and we're going to just see where it meet them spend an hour with them and then say okay kids let's do this this and this here we go somewhere over the rainbow way up high there's a land that i heard of once in a lullaby my name is alicia and i'm 22 years old and um, I'm from Nebraska. Today, <laughs> we're in a prison. <laughs> and uh, I don't know yet. I don't know what's going on yet. I'm just kind of a little freaked out. This is my eighth, eighth, eighth tour, yeah. My dad, actually, um, he has been in a band like my whole childhood. Yeah, kind of the end for me. After this, I'm gonna try to move to Chicago and see what's there. I can't even begin to imagine what this is going to be like. I think it's going to be amazing, but I'm a little, I'm a little scared. <laughs> um, to me, they, they are all different. There are some I just don't want to talk to, and I'm like, oh, don't come closer. I, don't, I just can't deal with you. Yeah. I think you can work with them, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan for the first few hours here? First few hours to set up and get comfortable in our, in our environment. We want to just get so we feel like we own the place. We, we own the place. You guys ready? Let's do it in 25 minutes. Yeah. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> My name is Volker Müller and I'm working as a social worker in Rockenberg. We are concerned about the safety of the young Americans. We have guards in the background, but uh, in front only teachers. I sing because I'm happy and I sing because I'm free. My name is Georgia Price and I grew up in Michigan. I'm 19. No, I'm not. I'm 20. I forget sometimes. We don't really know what we're stepping into. There's going to be about 120 of them that we're working with. We're doing things a little different than we usually do in workshops because we're not sure how it's going to go. I guess the point really isn't to get music across this time. It's to see what we can give to them so they have a little bit of hope for what they do after they get out of here. Wow, 
violence is um, a very permanent um, situation for us, part of life here. And um, um, it happens not every day, but uh, often in the situation of the, in the living situation, they respect each other and they respect us. When they came in, it was a little overwhelming. We went to go try to talk to them and see how they were, ask some random questions. Do you like rap? Rock music? Yeah? Like Tupac? Yeah. JT. Um, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm 22. I've never, I've never thought I would ever be in a place like this. You know what I mean? To look up like right behind me and see razor wire. You know what I mean? Like, and it's not about like just singing or dancing. It's about it's the only way you can get to you can how to express yourself. You know what I'm saying? Johan uh, stays for three years in Rockendog, and his development is um, at the beginning very difficult. Yes. Where did you get the strength? From the prison. Bonjour, Snookina. Kajaka. He doesn't notice and respect our rules. Um, he stabs him. My song. You wrote that song. Yeah. So how important in, in your life here? How does music help you get through the day? Oh, <laughs> it's music helped me. Just come up under the bed, get on. Takes you out of yourself. Yeah. yeah. I'm uh, 20 years old. I consider myself a musician and a singer. And some may say that I've got it all. The heavens just within my reach. I'm, I'm nervous at the beginning of every town um, because you, you don't know what the kids are going to be like. You don't know how they're going to react. You know, because of where we are and the you know history that these kids have had could potentially add a little bit more you know tension in the air but I think everybody's going into it with a good heart we started having them dance and stuff like that and um, you know people were playing guitars and singing and stuff and then they kind of warmed up to us a little bit tours and we we teach kids how to sing and dance but that's only our way of getting to them that's our way of it's our connection to being their friend to, to making sure that they know that we're not just Americans that jump around and sing and dance that we really care and we do want to be friends with them we're just here to have fun too see that band all dressed in white
The goal is we'll work with the inmates from one to four, take a break from four to five, have dinner with them, and then five to seven we'll do more. And hopefully we'll teach about 10 minutes of material. My name is Tara and I'm 22. I'm in charge of every dance step. So if there needs to be a change or there needs to be any decision made, it's, it's by me. And the second I saw the barbed wire, I got like walls up. I was scared. I realized that I was the only female teacher in front other than Robin. The second that they walked in, I realized we're the same. I don't, it's so weird. We're the same people. I have friends everywhere I look. Like, it's not just like I just met him. They do so fantastic. Oh my Hey, hey, hey. What did you think? It's happy. It's funny. It's after rehearsal when we had a break. You sat with Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Eyes. Oh, yeah. Show me what you play. Yeah. No woman, no cry. Yeah, she sang with you. Yeah. You see like a hundred people come together like with nothing more important than just music. Like you can't deny how can't deny how incredible that is. Like you'd be you'd be a fool to sit there and say that it's it's not real, you know? Very surprised. Today, they knew us, they were comfortable, they knew that even if they couldn't understand what we were saying, that we were going to help them through it. They are very um, fast coming out of the houses. Yesterday when I was in my bed, I think tomorrow I, I, have, I can't sleep. It's unbelievable. You going where? To America. They're ready. Sure. Absolutely sure. This morning, we took a lyrical with Robin. We danced Shadowlands and Lion King. For me personally, it was the first time that I let myself go and just and just dance and not think about anything. And I think that in some ways, I affected the guys that I was dancing with in that way. This is the first time when I saw that every, everyone comes together for a team. I think it's very good for um, us that we are one team now that we make things together and see that we can have fun together, a lot of fun together. I got to stand out and watch them all dance and it was probably the most amazing thing. I got his too. We wrote them on um, a paper plate, ripped them in half. So it's sweet. I have his, he has mine. So I'm definitely going to write right away. And I consider him a best friend for sure. So we are going to do a vocal just like our Bonnie. We're going to warm up our voice. 
I've had the most fun that I've ever had, ever, today. These kids hold nothing back, ever, because this is all they have. Because I ain't got nobody, nobody. They give you everything, and in turn you give them everything. So now there's all this giving, all this giving, and it comes out to this huge, huge gift between one another. There are guys here that maybe did some things that are really scary. This morning, Morgan was singing with a boy. In the jungle, the jungle, jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. My name is Pascal. I'm 18 years old. I come from Frankfurt. I think he's the sweetest, one of the sweetest guys. Why, why are you here? Why? Well, yeah. What was the crime that put you the here? The crime? The stolen cars. It's half of the truth. Half of the truth. His real name is Torsten, not Pascal. It's not Pascal. Not, uh, uh, that's why I, who is Pascal? Really? It's Torsten. He stood up and he sang, and I think it's probably the first time he's ever done it because you could see the look on his face. <laughs> getting booed and I, I don't know why and it kind of that kind of hit me. Why did the other prisoners, some of them were booing you? I don't know. What I know of the story is that there's um, a kid in here who raped an eight-year-old boy. He was convicted um, for uh, raping uh, children. That guy Pascal sang up there and um, everyone booed him. Everybody. <laughs> And then the guy turned to me and he's like, he's little kids. It just broke my heart. It's like, and then two other guys, I know the reason they didn't do, they wouldn't join our group was because he was in there. I thought I was an open-minded, non-judgmental person. And I, I got a shock of a lifetime when I walked in here because I really thought that I could just deal with anyone and be fine. <laughs> I don't know, there's a time when he looked at me in the eyes and it freaked me out and I had to leave the room. Morgan is a good girl, smiling girl. How did she make you feel? Good. I just asked him how he was doing. I said, did that hurt you? He goes, they don't like me. I said, I see that. I was like, does it hurt? And he goes, you know, it's okay. I'm like, I'm okay, and I said, look at me in the eyes and tell me you're okay. They say my head is damaged. I believe he, his intention in the moment is true. But in the second uh, moment, he think about it. I couldn't believe um, that he uh, visit the workshop. He's the first one in. When everyone goes on break, yes. he stays. Yes. With them, wherever the young Americans are, yes. he stays. Yes, yes, yes. How is anybody supposed to change if everybody keeps pulling away from somebody that's done something so bad? Forgiveness. And if I'm the only one, then I'm the only one. And I don't even know if it's true. <laughs> I hope that through this experience, he can take, you know, he can take what he, what he feels here find whatever he's been missing and grow from it. We taught them Heart Behind These Hands, one of the songs. There's a heart behind these hands. I couldn't believe that the words that they were singing, because of the place that they're in, they're in a prison, they're in a jail, and the words that they were saying is there's a heart behind these hands, there's a soul beneath these clothes. And the fact is that they've been judged by someone to be here. And they're saying, don't judge me. I have a heart behind my mistakes. It's always on the second day when kids finally go, oh, OK. 
this is what they're saying, that my life is special and that they want me to realize that. You can see it in their eyes that they finally got it. I've never been so connected in my entire life. It's been the most incredible two days of my life. You just don't think that at age 21, when you're on a tour in the United States, you would be a, a counselor, a, a psychotherapist, and a person that saves someone's life. This is like a blessing for me to be here, actually. I see myself in the choices that I've made. I can be in a place like this. Wow, these guys are stuck here. And I feel bad for them because I've made the same choices as some of them have. And I get the better gist of it. Today was the first time ever in my life that I felt scared to cry, you know? Huge breakthrough with the kids, I think. I love them, I love them, I love them. I'm speechless. Bill and Robin ask me every day, how are you? And I just, I'm, I'm fulfilled. Oh, very nervous. <laughs> very nervous. This is Rottenberg, and we are in jail. A lot of people come from outside, and they think, oh, the people in jail may be very bad. There's a big show, like a musical, going on. I can't really think of dance, scene with dancing. There's no better place to build your confidence and discover things about yourself that you never thought you'd ever possibly be doing. <laughs> satisfied and fulfilled from doing this.
I believe um, these three days have a lasting effect. Well, Johan wrote a song for me to, um, darling, darling, stand by me. And I open it up and I don't know what it says yet because Narn has to translate it, but he gave me a little baby picture. <laughs> and it has on the back, it has, um, his favorite song. To say that it makes me really sad, it's the last day we see each other. As we, as we have been working together since Friday, we were getting really used to your presence. Uh, tomorrow, normal life starts again. Because of you, we feel really good and happy for the first time in, in prison. The memory of this workshop will continue for a long time. <laughs> all the best to you all and thank you so much for all you did for us. Special thanks for Momo to Tewa, Joyce, Julie and Joshi. <laughs> thank you. Okay, and my special thanks to the young Americans is Mike, please come on. Mike, thank you very much for this beautiful day, beautiful three days. And I hope that we we'll see us next year on another show. Thank you. So normally we could be standing here and looking for words to describe what we got out of these three days. Young Americans, you're so great! <laughs> awesome! What I have to say is really not describable in words. In this moment, it's not me talking, it is my heart talking. <sighs> okay. Um, thank you to you all. Georgia. Dankeschön, thank you. Ich kann nicht mehr. <laughs>